Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you around my yard and I'm going to be showing you different edibles that most people have in their yards. And I know a lot of people try to get rid of these out of their yards, but they have a lot of health benefits and they're used either for teas or medicinally or just to eat and salads and stuff that are healthy for you. Um, and remember my yard is untreated. So you have to remember that if you want to eventually research any of these things and uh, potentially eat any of them or use them in teas or for medical purposes. So I'm going to take you around and show you what we find. All right, guys, here's the first of our edibles that you can find in your grass. As long as your grass is not treated with chemicals, remember it can't be treated. I wouldn't eat if it was treated with chemicals. But this is dandelion. You can see the flowers getting ready to puff out. And this one is already spent. I used to call them um, little uh, pillows and we'd blow them until they flew in the air. But all of this is edible, okay? The, the leaves and the flowers are edible. I wouldn't really eat the roots, but that's personal preference. But this was um, a staple for some people during the Depression. They would go out and forage this and make salads, and it has um, good vitamins and stuff in it for you. So, first edible is the dandelion. And there's actually one right next to it. This is a wild violet. Okay, and none of the flowers are up right now, but this wild violet right here is edible too. The flowers uh, can be used in salads or to make, some people use uh, the violet to make a uh, jelly. It's a beautiful jelly. And then also the, the leaves right here you can use in salads. <clears throat> And, and soups and stuff like that but you have to make sure that it's actually a wild violet I'm gonna find you some of the flowers but this is edible also and remember if you want to eat the leaves of the dandelion um, the the newer leaves or the younger leaves are better they do get a little more bitter once they get bigger but I mean, they're still edible and they're still good for you, but they're very distinguishable. They're easy to find and they're in most people's yards. Okay, here's some more wild violets. You can see the flower. It's a pretty little purple flower. And people collect these to make the jelly, like I said. And it turns out more like a pink. It's beautiful jelly. And then, of course, the leaves are edible, too. You can see the wild violet mixed in. All right, guys, here's another thing that gets uh, confused, actually. This is henbit. It's part of the mint family, but um, this is actually confused a lot with purple dead nettle. They do look similar. I'm going to try to find the purple dead nettle. This is edible also. The hen bit is, is uh, edible too. But you can usually tell the difference in how the flowers and the leaves sit. So let me see if I can find some purple dead nettle to compare this to. Alright, I found some purple dead nettle. As you can see... This is purple dead nettle right here. Do you see how I'm gonna pull it off? You see how all the leaves are at the top? And they kind of go down, it's like an um umbrella sort of. And Henbit has multiple layers. So you have them down the stem. I'm gonna put them together. So the one on the right is purple dead nettle. The one on the left is henbit, which they're both in the same family, knit family. 
and they're both edible and they both have um, different uh, qualities to them that a lot of people forage for and they ha have a lot of um, vitamins in them so they're both edible but the one this one on the right is purple dead nettle and this one on the left is henbit and they do look different you can tell the difference between the two they get confused a lot here's some more purple dead nettle Here's another one. This is plantain. I think this is black seed plantain. These are also uh, have lots of nutrients and they actually use uh, this medicinally uh, for multiple different purposes. But this is another edible that you can find in your yard. All right, guys, so I pointed out about four common ones you can find in most people's yards. Um, I'm sure I have some more, but that's just a good starting point. I would encourage everybody to look these plants up, see what their uses are, um, what vitamins they have in them, because they have a lot and I can't remember them all, but most of them have a good amount of vitamins in them. And they're good for you and they do have medicinal purposes. So, hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next time. Remember to go out and look in your yard and forage.